and to deliver a talk on UN Sustainable Finance Principles Framework, please welcome Mr. Eric Acher, head of the UN Environment Program Finance Initiative. Hello. Thank you. A pleasure to be with you and uh, uh, fantastic to listen to uh, the great discussions during the course of the day. Um, uh, I hope it has been uh, very worthwhile and looking forward to uh, rounding out uh, the rest of the day's uh, session. I'm going to uh, first speak to you for, for uh, a brief moment and then we're going to welcome in um, our final uh, panel of speakers. So the UNEP Finance Initiative, um, uh, we would very much like to thank the Ministry of Finance and the other organized organizers for partnering in, in putting together this day. Uh, in terms of a brief uh, presentation on UNEPFI, and I'm going to speak about the, the principles frameworks that we've heard much discussion about. Um, the UNEP Finance Initiative is a partnership between the UN and financial institutions from around the world uh, dealing with sustainability issues. Uh, the partnership seeks to understand how um, environmental social governance issues affect the businesses of financial institutions and also how the products and services of financial institutions affect the environment and society lard at large. Now, uh, UNEP Finance Initiative or UNEP FI uh, was started in 1992. So it's one of the oldest initiatives um, around uh, dealing with issues of sustainable finance. We will be celebrating our 30 year anniversary next year over the years, we have developed uh, three uh, principles frameworks uh, for defining sustainability or um, um, responsible conduct of financial institutions. In uh, 2006, um, we worked uh, with a number of uh, asset owners and managers to draft the principles for responsible investment and launch them at the New York Stock Exchange with, uh, at the time, uh, UN Secretary General uh, Kofi Annan. And then in 2012, the same was done uh, with a number of insurance leaders to, to prepare the principal sustainable insurance. And then most recently in 2019, uh, we had uh, 132 uh, banks with now UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres who launched the principles for responsible banking. So they have all the PRI, the PSI and the PRB have all developed as UN convened but industry led initiatives. Um, so I'm going to uh, speak a little bit more about the PRI and the PRB, so for investment in banking today, um, but also please take note of the PSI for sustainable insurance if you have an insurance business and certainly get in touch, we can provide you more information. So the principles for responsible investment. Um, the PRI was initiated back in 2005. Um, based on an initial report and analysis, um, which looked at the, the notion of fiduciary duty and whether uh, investors could take account of um, environmental, social and governance factors in their investment decision making. This report was commissioned from a law firm, uh, Freshfields Brockhouse Derringer, which uh, became known as the Freshfields Report. So it was the first time we really looked at how do you integrate ESG considerations into investment analysis. And it found that it was clearly permissible and arguably required within the fund fiduciary duty of investment trustees to take these issues into account. This is what led uh, to the establishment of the PRI, which uh, we did uh, along with the UN Global Compact. And today it's a, a freestanding uh, entity with its headquarters in London uh, with uh, over 4,000 signatories. So today with, with so much um, ESG risk dominating the business risk landscape, um, I think for an investment trustee to ignore environmental, social and governance issues would arguably mean it is ignoring a key long-term investment value driver. And as a result, failing to honor its fiduciary duty to its beneficiaries. Now, of course, this notion has evolved um, in different jurisdictions. Um, and we, we like to describe it as it's gone from a could to a should to in many markets, a must. It has to be taken in town. Uh, if not, then you are failing your fiduciary duties. Um, in Thailand, the government pension fund is the only asset owner signatory today, and we are calling um, to invite other asset owners and investment managers from Thailand to join. Signing these internationally recognized principles of responsible investment allows your organization to publicly demonstrate its commitment to including these very important uh, issues around environmental, social and governance factors in, in investment decision making and ownership and to join with other actors around the world who, who are looking to to understand and implement 
um, and make it part of your strategic offering within the market. Now I'll talk a little bit about the principles of responsible banking, or we, we say the PRB. This is the newest of the UN sustainable finance principles. Uh, just last week, we celebrated uh, our second year, two year anniversary since its launch in New York. Now the, the UN principles for responsible banking is made up of six principles that define sustainable banking. What is, what is the bank, um, uh, the responsible bank uh, of today and tomorrow? Um, what is at the heart of the principles is the, uh, the idea of alignment. So signatories commit to align their business strategy with societal goals as set in the, the, the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs, Paris Climate Agreement, and other relevant uh, national development or frameworks. Um, today, the PRB is signed by 250 banks, uh, which come from 69 countries, representing about 40% of the banking uh, industry by assets. Um, in total, um, 60 trillion uh, US dollars uh, and serving roughly 1.6 billion people worldwide. So it's a, it's a big group. Um, you know, the, the PRB banks have signed because alignment to society is seen as good corporate citizen, good corporate practice. Um, in addition, many banks understand that the business models of our economies are quickly changing. We see that all around us. We're, we're entering a big age of transition where we would need to create corporate value without relying on carbon emissions and with very limited um, natural resources. So we need to better understand what are these societal drivers and, and what do they mean for business practice today. Now, embracing sustainability is and can be very much a key source of business competitiveness in this transition to a green economy. Um, alignment to society um, and uh, the other five principles that make up the UN principles for responsible banking are used to frame the sustainability agenda of banks. Kassigorn Bank and government savings banks have been the first two banks to sign the PRB in Thailand, and I hope many other banks in the country will join in this sustainability journey. So I'm honored to be part of this important meeting today, introducing you to the UN Sustainability uh, Finance Frameworks, the PRI, the PSI, and the PRB. Um, they are ever useful as the scale and pace of change in sustainable finance is accelerating. I encourage you to embrace these principles to support your institutions and the Thai financial system to be more sustainable and more resilient. At UNEPFI, we look forward to working with you. Thank you.